Out of nowhere, the Indies, independent Scientologists, burst onto the internet after Anonymous. What did this do to the church, in your opinion? Well, it was remarkable. I, I think, um, you know, there, there's this triple whammy of, uh, you know, Tom Cruise. South Park was a very important thing. Tom Cruise came out. First of all, thanks for coming to my Legends Ball with Katie. Was that the best fun? Was that? Yes, yes! What has happened to you? The South Park episode, uh, with Tom Cruise, they could make fun of Tom Cruise. The media could deal with Tom Cruise. With the South Park, they were willing to, to say, uh, at the end of the South Park episode, sue me, and Scientology didn't sue. That really opened the floodgates for the media. And then the Indies, having seen Anonymous and other people stand up and speak out, a lot of people got the courage to speak out and tell their own stories because Anonymous was in the streets, giving them safety in numbers. In the old days, Scientology could target one person like Paulette Cooper or Gabe Casares or the Time magazine, and they could use all their efforts to quash that person. Thousands of people everywhere speaking out against Scientology, flooding the streets. Scientology could not deal with that. They didn't have uh, any tech to handle anonymous people. Um, and, and I know it gave the, uh, a lot of courage to other people to step forward and say, this is what happened to me. Independence started to, to come out in the open and say, we don't believe in the way David Miscavige is running the church. We still believe in Hubbard, we still believe in the tech, and we're gonna stand up and say what Ms. Gavage isn't doing. Um, you mean to tell me that we're coming to visit the Church of Scientology and you're calling the police on us? We're not open to the public. Why not? We're a movie studio, we're not open to the public. You don't go into other places. Don't touch my, don't touch me and don't touch my camera. Get the hell don't off touch of my me. property. It's not your property. I yes, pay for this. Now I donated property. a lot of money to the Church of Scientology. It's not your property. You are a staff member. What Miscavige is doing is wrong. Uh, and, and I think that's very, very important because with my videos, I'm playing to an audience of people who are on the outside, people who are never part of Scientology. I'm trying to explain to them what happens inside Scientology. Good uh, uh, Scientologists in good standing, they're not going to look at my videos. They're going to be told that I'm an SP, that I'm spreading nothing but lies. So they're, they're not likely to take a chance at looking at my videos. But if somebody like Marty Rathbun and, and, and all these independents start to tell their stories, they still believe in Hubbard. And so these Indi Indies will start looking out the truth in that direction. And then eventually they start inching out and, the, and the, the, you know, the vision gets a little broader and they start to see uh, more of the problems that are inherent in the, in the entire system of the church. Um, and it's a process. So the Indies are, are, are incredibly important. And that, that has, I mean, a lot of them are the big pocket donors to the organization. And taking all the OTs out with their big fat wallets, that's a huge blow to Scientology because all they can do is harder and harder for Scientology to get new members in. They're, they just have to bleed dry the current members, the people are in, selling them the same courses over and over, repackaging it, saying you gotta buy it again, buy things for your library, for your cousins, for, for the, you know, the people down the street. Buy, buy, buy. And, uh, you know, there's only so much that a person can take of that before they say, enough, I, I, I can't take it anymore. No. We'll let you go at 30,000. No. Tori, Tori. I only have 10,000. You're, 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 you're a senior Scientologist. You've been know, around the block. I can't. I really can't. We're talking about changing the world. What's going on? And then, and then they start to, to, to take a look and, and they see that we're not the only ones that are in this situation. We're not the only ones seeing craziness around us. And that's been a, a, a huge, 
huge change for, for Scientology that I don't think they'll be able to handle. The internet changed everything. I have a big question. Everybody wants to know, when will you finish Knowledge Report? I'd like to know, too. It's a project I've been working on now for a few years, and, and, and actually it's a, pro a project that I probably can say I've been working on since 1999, since I started pointing a camera at the Church of Scientology. But really in the last few years it's, it's, it's been a, a major project to, to get a, a feature-length documentary into the theaters, hopefully, or on any other, you know, Netflix, iTunes, wherever videos is distributed now. Uh, I want to tell a, a very concise story about the history of Scientology, the history of Hubbard, why people are upset with the way the Church of Scientology operates, how they abuse people, and how people can, can get the courage to stand up and say, no, this isn't right. This has got to stop. You've got to change your ways. I'm not trying to shut down Scientology. I don't think that's even possible. People are, are, are free to believe anything that they want. And I support anyone who wants to, to do Scientology auditing, who wants to, to be in the Church of Scientology. I'm not trying to, to take you away from that or take that away from you. I'm just saying, stop the abuse. Stop hurting people. Stop lying. Tell the truth. Behave. And maybe you will get some of that respectability that you crave. So that's the, 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 what the film is about. It's about freedom of religion in America. You can believe anything you want. Just don't treat people this way. Um, and I've, I've had the great opportunity to travel all across the country and interview people who are independent Scientologists who are speaking out for the first time. Former executives of the church, like Marty Rathbun, who was the second in command, Mike Rinder, who used to be in charge of all the dirty tricks played against Bob Minton and me and uh, everybody else out there. Uh, and, and it's been great to be, have a chance to, to get everybody's viewpoint on this. Uh, uh, you know, I've heard horrible, horrible stories of, of, of disconnection and families being torn apart, and certainly there's <clears throat> none more tragic than Karen's story. I mean, this, is, this has got to stop. So, this is the point of the film. I've been editing away. Um, in fact, today I just shot another interview for the film. The, the, uh, the guy who wrote Battlefield Earth sat down to do an, an interview, a fun interview, for a little section of the film. We have to talk about celebrities in Scientology, and I thought this would be a, a nice little few-minute segment of the film to explain how the church was really hoping this movie Battlefield Earth was what was going to draw millions of people in. Well, I'm hoping my film, Knowledge Report, Scientology, Spies, Lies, and the Eternity Prize, will have the impact that Scientology wanted to draw attention to the Church of Scientology. But to have people say, wait a minute, this is happening in America? This isn't right. I didn't know. I thought Tom Cruise was part of it. There couldn't be anything wrong. I didn't know people were being put in prison camps. I didn't know there was this, that, and the other thing. So hopefully that's what the, the, the film will accomplish. Uh, Karen and I couldn't agree more uh, with the premise of your film. It's needed. How much money do you need to finish it? What's I, I think we're, we're probably going to need another 30000 or so. Uh, the, the, the biggest expense is probably going to be uh, the legal fees at the end of it. You have to buy an insurance policy before it's screened, and a typical errors in omission policy would cost about 5000 bucks for a film. This film, because Scientology is involved, is probably going to cost more than 15000 for it. Um, and then we need, uh, uh, you know, to do color correction and, you know, all the audio fixes and all the post-production stuff. Sure. So there's still still ways to go. Well, how can people donate to you? Well, uh, right now there's a current campaign up on Indiegogo, which you can go to from my site, Xenu TV. On the right-hand side of the page, there's a link to the current campaign. Or if you just wanted to make a PayPal donation directly to me, you can go to ZenuTV at Hotmail.com. That's my PayPal account. 